our program from many other universities is the involvement of the industry liaisons. And it's not just with your team, that's gonna be really important, but it's also your interactions with students in design reviews and at Expo. So I wanna thank you for, uh, well, one of the things is we always appreciate funding, always, <laughs> for our projects. But more importantly, we recognize that it's your time, your talent, that you're sharing with our students that's really making the difference. So I wanna thank you and thank you and thank you for being here and helping our students. And likewise, a huge thank you to our faculty and volunteer advisors. A piece of information to keep in mind for both liaisons and advisors from a Purdue University national study is that the biggest predictor of success for a student is not their GPA, it's whether they had a faculty or industry mentor. So your time and sharing your time and talent is hugely impactful. So thank you again for taking on this mentoring role throughout the year. Before I close, I'd like to acknowledge a few more people. First and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Michael Thorburn and his electrical engineering and mechanical engineering team. Of, uh, Professor Kurt Zawickis, Dr. Thank you, Kurt. Dr. Uh, Curtis Wang, and Dr. Chris Bachman. They've put together an amazing electrical engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, and now engineering technology capstone design experience from identifying projects to working with liaisons to scope out those projects to identifying advisors with the needed expertise and then matching students with those projects. And not only that, they continue to grow and strengthen the program through the spaces that they create for you to work, as well as through, through the training and workshops. So if you haven't checked out yet, I'm sure Dr. Thorberg would be telling you more about this, but the EEME space was remodeled with a lot, with uh, Professor Sawickis and uh, Dr. Thorberg this summer and others. It really is a transformation of a space that's now for that EEME space at the end of the ceiling is now uh, a wonderful space for ideation, for analysis, modeling, design, and then all the hands-on building is in the other wonderful space in the maker space. So if you haven't checked out those spaces yet, definitely check them out. Now, of course, all you computer scientists in the room are going, hey, what about us? <laughs> okay. uh, obviously, this is an amazing uh, day for you, and you also have people who are committed to the success of your program. And I want to especially acknowledge your department chair, Dr. Elaine Kang. Dr. Kang has worked hard to identify, do all the things that Dr. Thorburn was doing as well, and more than 50% of the CS projects are funded projects, which is a huge accomplishment. And not only that, she's also created a wonderful space for our seniors, uh, Capstone Senior Design students in computer science. So thank you, Dr. K. <laughs> and lastly, as Dr. Thorberg mentioned, the boss, <laughs> Aspic Simon, is our communication specialist. And she does an amazing job of all the logistics related to our events for Capstone, as well as communicating through our websites, through social media, about our programs, about our projects, about our events, and really getting our name and what we do out there. So thank you so much, Hasbin. And just, yes. So if we can just take a moment to acknowledge everybody, the industry, uh, the industry liaisons, the faculty and volunteer advisors, and the whole team that puts this on together. So in closing, I wish you all an amazing year, and I look forward to seeing your progress and the progress throughout the year. 
and to hearing about both your challenges and your successes at Expo. Good luck and have fun. So some logistics. First off, though, I, I want to say it's it's always hard to thank people because, for one thing, you know, internet days mean a lot, and I think that for one thing, we should definitely acknowledge Dr. Sue Lim, who has been working with Elaine Kang on the Senior Design Program at CS for the last few years. It's been terrific. And the other thing that's, that's really interesting to note is that we have 180 computer science students this year, and the total for EEME together is 179. So this is the first year where CS is actually bigger than EE and ME put together. So that's, that's a remarkable change over the last few years. It used to be we were twice as big as CS. Well, that's the way the world's going, I guess. And then lastly, let's thank Dr. Werner Perez for, for, for the pioneers and 